Okay. Um, what were your goals when you were 25? On my 25th birthday, I had my fourth child was born. And I think my goals at that particular time, I had, I had not yet joined the church, but I had studied it and uh, wanted to join, but I can't think of anything particularly I want to say, so. <laughs> but I never gave up. Maybe I made mistakes. Mm, but I never quit trying. What, what do you wish your kids would do? Well, I always wish your mother would write because I thought she had such a talent for it. I think Rick is living up to his potential very well. His All of the volunteer world every week as a pink lady, I think. So I think she's pretty well doing what she needs to do. And um, who comes next? Uh, Kathy. Kathy seems a little uptight sometimes. It would be nice if she could relax and not be so intense. Lori, I think that's what she would like. And uh, someone who would be a positive influence on her children. And then Elizabeth, I hope Elizabeth stays with Bob because he is her anchor situation. And that Richard not be not be always putting himself down. I guess that takes us care of all of them, all ten of them. Who's your favorite grandkid? Oh, you, Matt, and I know you're. Your mother said I favored Susanna. That's true. And uh, and and didn't give Gwen much attention. And I said we talk more and become better friends. And and I have I don't know. I think I've been friends with most of my grandchildren and have loved them all. Dear. I think I was closer to you to the Hargett grandchildren because they lived in the neighborhood and lived closer to me. They're growing up years. So that made it, made them closer to me and they came for holidays and I went to their house for their birthday and so on. Can't think of anything else to ask. Well, I guess the, the interview must be over then. Okay, say goodbye, I love you. Goodbye and I love you.